Hey guys, um, today I'm going to use my husband's Milwaukee 3 8 in, 3 8 inch um, ratchet. I got him for Christmas. Now, everybody want to see my baby in the background? My um, 83 Land Cruiser. We we replaced the roof because during Harvey, we had a lot of flooding and the water was harsh. So we re had to replace the roof because water was coming through. And then um, we're also redoing some body work. Um, there was some rust here and there was also a dent in the back from the guy that we got it from before. So we're just redoing the whole thing. We're even gonna do the, um, whatever, the head thing. And um, we've just been working really hard on getting it fixed soon. But anyways, I just wanted to say something a little frustrating. Um, I bought this for my husband for Christmas last year because I had just bought him the, um, I sh this is like my tools because I bought them. So why does he keep moving my stuff? Um, I just bought him, my parents bought him that. Um, it's probably in this drawer. This Christmas, his organization skills, like he's super organized. Like look how clean that is. Like that's super nice, but it doesn't make sense to me. Like here's your sockets. So why don't you put your like ratchets and shit like right by it? I don't know, I would probably put them there. Whatever, whatever, whatever makes him happy. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking screwdrivers oh he's gonna be so happy because i bought him a snap-on screwdriver set today um i'll do a review on that in a minute okay so i bought him the half inch no battery 12 volt um milwaukee fuel edition if you're gonna be working on cars and stuff i recommend the full fuel more powerful long lasting blah 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 whatever um the half inch one and it came like during Christmas you could buy um almost any Milwaukee thing came with something free and so I was buying him just stuff just to get the batteries or the battery chargers or whatever um to go with it now where is that impact that I bought him um I bought He's probably got, he's, oh, he's working. He's got it in his work truck. I'm sorry. Okay, back to what I was doing. Sorry. I look like a mess too. Okay, so husband keeps his tools in his, his, um, what are these bullets? Um, what are they? Hair curlers? Um, no, I think they're sockets. Women, get it together. Okay, anyway. All I need, literally a 12 mil, um, millimeter whatever socket. They are, look, all the way down, 12 is gone. All the way down, 12 is gone. So I'm gonna have to use these little babies. Um, I also bought him all these gear wrench sockets. He's like a socket collector fanatic. Loves sockets. Um, 10. What the heck? Where is all the 12? Something on the car must be 12. Yep, 13. What? Oh, that's 18. I was like, oh, that's way out of place. 13, 12. All right, I'm going to use this bad boy. Hopefully we get there. I have a feeling... Something he was working on underneath his truck was 12. He needed a 12 inch socket and that's probably where they are. I'm gonna bust his ass when he gets home because I buy sockets. I use this stuff more than he does. So like we are buying in the process. Yep, look, I knew he was using it for something. All the 12s right there, you see them? Damn. 
Should I hide him? Freak him out? No, I won't do that to him. His Christmas present. Spoiled rotten. My parents bought him Milwaukee Drill. I bought him Impacts and a ratchet. His parents bought him that air compressor. He got money. I bought him these. Home Depot had. Um, buy one, get one free. They were $20, $25. And they legit really were. But they're really nice material. They're like, I don't know, longer lasting. We go through measuring tapes like water around here. Probably because we use the Harbor Freight freebies. But, um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. So, we are selling our house. Oh, that's what it was. We're selling our house and we are getting a bigger garage because we love to buy old trucks and fix them up. I could start doing YouTube videos on that. So, let me try because I didn't. I guess I can get my sand out. It's right here. Um, I didn't get. I didn't put out my. Um, I think I need to go to bed. Can't even talk. My tripod thing out. Okay. Let me excuse my terrible look. I. No, y'all won't sit here. I went to the doctor today, and uh, that is about it. Sepsis checkups. So I'm totally over here blabbing away, and I realized that when I dropped the phone, well, that's what happened. I dropped the phone that it stopped recording. So maybe God's telling me to stop blabbering so much. Okay, so we're moving, buying a bigger garage so we can keep fixing trucks and stuff. That's our favorite thing to do. That's our hobby. That's what we love to do. We work. We love to fix cars and get them running together as a couple that's, you know, couples that shoot together, couples that hunt together, couples that work on cars together. We stay together. We're going 12 years strong. So anyways, don't, my mama. Um, I have a fun side to me. I also do uh, toy reviews. So, um, and beauty reviews, even though I look like a hot mess right now. Um, but anyways, so, we love this Milwaukee ratchet, like love it. Um, when you're working on cars and you're down, like I'm gonna try to look better in the camera. Oh. When you're down working in the motors and the engines and whatever, same thing, transmissions, all that crap. Sometimes it's really hard to get into little spaces, especially in like little cars. Hopefully that didn't stop anything. Low battery, like always. Um, we, t we fixed some cams on my um, husband's best friend's uh, Firebird. And just some of like the places, like just with a regular regular wrench or whatever, it just wasn't cutting it. And that's like, you could just like wiggle around and then you just put, that's it. You don't have to like just crank and crank and crank. So this works really good. But I felt like this was a good example to show um, from the get-go because we're moving and my realtor asked me to take the TV down in our kitchen. Why? I don't know, but I'm going to go with it. Okay. So let's hope that this is the right socket. And I don't think it's going to fit. I've literally tried everything. Please don't be a difficult. Maybe if I just turn it forever, it'll just eventually fit, right? I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna pause y'all and go get a couple different ones. I've literally tried every size though. That's what's frustrating. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I guess Harbor Freight sizes are different than Gear Inch, just to let you know, because all the Harbor Freight sockets is what I was trying to figure out and I realized I needed 12 and I couldn't find the Gear, gear Wrench ones. It explains why my husband doesn't use the Harbor Freight ones anymore, but yet still insist on keeping them. So, what? So, literally, this thing has been up here for seven, eight years. It's been up here for eight years. Easy, just super easy. Let's do this one. Sometimes I, oh, let's not lose that. 
I get super easy, I get super excited and just like push the button like super fast. Uh. So we had, that was super easy. What did that take, like five seconds? I don't know. Um, when we're working on the Land Cruiser, of course it's 30 something years old. So we have some rusted um, bolts and stuff. So we just, um, what you do, you can try to break it with this. If it doesn't work, then you can lock this and then you can just turn a little bit. Like I just had to do on the last one. For some reason it was locked. Just really don't know why. Because my husband, half at, oh, he probably put it in the studs. But there's no anchors. So, yeah, he put it in the studs. Come on. There's no anchors. I've never seen anchors this big. Had to go in the studs. It's probably why it's so high. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um, and you can just, like, turn it a little bit and then lock it loose. And then if it's still, just keep going, lock it loose. There's very few times that I would have to get it on like a regular one wrench on there and just a ratchet whatever the hell and just with a hammer just you know get it and then use this but this thing if you're if you are looking to buy one because you use them a lot and you're just tired of just the normal this thing is awesome I showed you this was like a five second ordeal for things super easy this thing's not the lightest thing in the world um, it held up a 42, 47, 46, I don't know, something like that, inch TV. Um, so, yeah, and if if y'all are trying to get y'all's wives into starting to help you around the house, I mean, on cars or anything like that, this is a little sex obsessive, or sex obsessive for around the house. But um, this you know, it'll keep her from getting her hands too dirty. I just got a little, probably from the car juice from when we were doing it on the car. But it'll keep her hands from getting dirty. Also, women, if you want to help your man, or your man, your man wants you to help him. So if he's out there and he's like, just kind of, you know, just go out there and be like, honey, is there anything I can do to help? Even, you know, I started out helping my husband by just holding the screws for him or, or, or the bolts and, and organizing them for him so that he wouldn't lose them. And I'll get like a sticky note and I'd be like, these are for the TV holder. Well, obviously not in an engine, but um, that's how I started out doing it. And then I was like, okay, this is boring. Give me the damn ratchet. And I it was hooked ever since. Like I love working on cars. Um, that Land Cruiser is my baby. Um, my husband's got a different truck that we're going to start working on soon. He just bought one um, for the new house. And because we got like a super huge garage for, we got like, it's a four car garage with two car port a cachet. And then it's got like a barn storage compartment on top. So we can put like all of our big things up there and stuff. So, anyways, we have this thing. Is probably over a year and a half old. I can't remember if I got it for our anniversary or Christmas. I want to say anniversary, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's still going like super strong. Like we have no problems. I love that there's a light. Um, see, so you can like see where you, where you're going, and then also the battery indicator. So if you are working on something and then you start to like see that these little battery things are going down um, and you, you know, you, you're at a stopping point, you can go ahead and just plug in the battery and get a new one. Um, like I say, like I said, Milwaukee gives these, gives batteries away with their tools. If you buy a participating tool, you get a battery. We've got like six batteries in the 12 volt and we've got like three in the 18 volt. Um, so, uh, that's awesome because a lot of times when I'm working like with the DeWalt stuff that I was working with before Milwaukee, before we started switching over to Milwaukee, 
I'd be in the middle of a project and boom, it was dead. And I would have to wait for it to charge or go buy another battery, whatever. And um, so all of our, we've had our, all of our DeWalt tools for about seven years now. And we've bought three different sets of batteries and these batteries are already going out. So that's why we decided to go ahead and make the switch to DeWalt. I mean, to Milwaukee, we will keep with DeWalt. Uh, like the drill and stuff, we'll keep it. We're not gonna get rid of it. We'll just um, buy new batteries for it. And then like if my mother-in-law or anybody like that needs to use it, we'll give them that instead of our Milwaukee stuff. But bottom line, this is like a must have if you are into this sort of thing, if you need these things all the time. Um, they're a bit expensive. I wanna say this one was a little bit over $200. I will try to put the price um, in the description below or I'll try to put it like right here. Um, uh, for right now they go on sale all the time and like I said sometimes you can catch them with a free battery this one did come with a free battery and charger so sometimes you can catch them on sale sometimes you can't it just depends so um give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel I will be doing tool reviews today when my husband gets home I am going to do a review of the snap-on um I want to say ratchet it's not a ratchet snap-on screwdriver set that I got him and um, I'm super excited about that he's been wanting one for or snap-on tools for a while and my daddy works at a car dealership now and he had a friend that worked there and he stopped him and asked him how much the screwdriver set was and told me and then I just paid for it so um, we're gonna be pretty excited about that when he opens it um, so I'll make a video about that. I guess since we're done with this, I can kind of turn it down so I don't look so funky. But um, yeah, so like and subscribe so that you can see all my other videos and reviews on my, or on different tools. And I also will be working on the truck with my husband once, probably more when we move into the bigger house. Maybe we'll put it on the driveway and um, work on it out there. I'm not sure yet, but hopefully, you know, that works out that way. So, um, like and subscribe and keep an eye out for my next video on the snap-on screwdrivers. Bye.